It is a stunning morning after a very wet and windy night. So I'm going to go down with my coffee and go see if my tarpaulin held up. It's still on the car, which is good. And we can have a look. This is my coffee stand. I'm not called Fiona. <clears throat> I came down last night and put some spanners on here just because this tarpaulin kept blowing inside the boot lip. Uh, I'll go and get a spare hand, I think. Or let go of the camera anyway. Have you ever seen a more beautiful boot floor? The short answer is yes, it, but it doesn't look like the horrendous patchwork that I thought it might. Um, so that's good. It's now time to clean up all of these edges, prep them ready for welding, <clears throat> tidy that bit up there, which currently has a stream of water running down it. Incidentally, I don't think much of these waterproof tarpaulins. I specifically bought one that said waterproof and cost more than the ones that say water resistant and cost less. But it's complete pants. It's just. You know, it might stop water flooding through, but it's not waterproof. Still better than the car cover was. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to prep that rear lamp panel, punch all my holes in it using the air powered thing. Going to hammer these edges smooth, sand the undersides, zinc paint them so that this can be bashed down flat, clamped up nicely and then plug welded. I will also go find something to mop that up because that will be a pain if that's running down on the stuff so I try and weld it up. Compressor, one of my favourite tools. This is the combination joggler and punch. So that part puts steps in panels. If you wanted to do the section of a wing or something you could joggle an edge in it, overlap it and then um, seam weld. And then this one is just like a air powered hole punch but for steel so <clears throat> here's one i prepared earlier it just saves so much time punching out holes i'll go through these again with my um drill just to open them up because i like to have them slightly bigger i think this hole is five mil Whereas I'll probably draw those out to about six. <clears throat> uh, I need to put holes in the returns, both sides, and then all the way along that lower lip. That causes a bit of a problem because the return sometimes stops you getting the tool in there. So it will be a bit of a fiddle, which I won't be filming. It might be that I have to drill quite a few of them by hand because the lip isn't uniform. Um, some I'll be able to do with this, the others I'll just have to drill old school way. That's now drilled, all my plug weld holes, time to fit it loosely. I'll clean this up first to put some zinc paint on it, offer it up into the car and then I'll work out what needs dressing properly. Righty ho, that is all sanded and zinc painted where I need it. I've cleaned up that area there where I had to put some weld in because it cracked probably need a tiny bit of filler but I could wait till later. Annoyingly I found a tiny bit of rust in there which I'll have to chop out but I'm going to do that when I do that lower rear corner anyway. You will note that along the bottom I still have the red oxide bonder primer which you can't weld through but I don't want to sand it all off because it's a waste so what I'm going to do is put this on and then scribe through the holes manually once it's clamped in and then um, just weld into the clean metal. Uh, I have also sanded off and zinc painted these edges where they are going to be welded to the car. I'm now going to go find all my little clamps, put it in, start clamping it together um, and get the welder out. It's on there. It's okay, but it still needs a bit of adjustment. Over here, we have a bit of a gap there. That I'm not bothered about because I'm going to weld down there. You don't normally, it's just that this whole section gets hidden by the badge bar. So 
you might as well run stitches here, here and here just so that your plug welds or my plug welds aren't an issue. Up, they never align correctly there, they generally don't fit brilliantly. Um, so long as this bit is okay and that bit is okay then you don't need to worry about the rest. I've just been hammering this bit and opened up a little bit more rust here so that is all going to need to be chopped out annoyingly but the return on the inside is good. This is where the bumper support goes so I can weld this in and address that later. <clears throat> it, it's all kind of in about the right place. If you look at other cars you can see they never align perfectly. That one has been apart before but if we go and look at this white car this car has never had any welding done to the back of it so all of these joins are factory original so that line there works nice that one not so nice the levels aren't quite right over at this side again it's okay but you know only a spotter is really going to be cr critical about all of this the only difference between this series one and that series two is the series two has a hole here because the badge bar goes the, the whole length otherwise the rear panels are identical so <clears throat> i need to take that panel off again i'm gonna dress that corner so that this sits in a bit more i'm going to then um, refit it and clamp all of the spot welded edges together nicely so that I get decent plug welds. I might also have to, oh no that's all okay. Yeah we're actually looking pretty good. You can see the problem is caused by that which is just a clumsy crease in this skin so I'm just going to sand it back maybe give it a couple of taps with a hammer. There's also some surface rust under there I oh know it's cobwebs good right so just gonna nip that back flip the panel back on we should be good in fact yeah it's pretty straight now don't even need to hit it. Where is my zinc paint? Cool. Just for the hell of it, I thought I'd go dig out the manual which shows the repair procedure for this. And this is for an early car, which will be the same as this one, I presume. But it's quite cool to see that they were brazed in, or some of them were at least because I don't think this one was I think it was just spot welded but I don't know but anyway I'm gonna do what the book says in terms of spot welds not necessarily the number but the way that it's all going together these I will plug weld in my usual fashion and then I might put a couple of stitches underneath if I can get there and then I'll rather than braze because I can't braze I'll weld down here with the welder set as perfectly as I can get it to close that off. Um, depending on how this looks when it's all hammered flat I might then seam weld it as well I'm not sure. I'll certainly seam the gutter so that it makes a nice continuous line um, so that the weather channel can go on and water won't pour in through that hole but other than that it's just more plug welding and MIG welding. <clears throat> the other thing I've done is now this. Oh, fuck socks, that was a mug. Um, <clears throat> that all lines up much more nicely. Can't remember whether I showed that or not. Uh, yeah, more of the same.
hopefully you will have just seen me welding plug welds along the bottom just really to get it in position so I don't need to keep clamping it I off camera I don't know what I've done with it now I sacrificed an old screwdriver there it is and made myself a scribe so what I've been doing is clamping the panels together making sure they're really a tight fit so not like that not gappy they need to be really crushed together scribing through to remove the bonder primer and then welding into it and filling up the weld pool I can feel underneath that you know these have all like got a really good penetration because it's only two pieces of 0.9 I think still then where the car originally would have been brazed I've done a little uh, seam of weld where the headlight uh, sorry tail lights go not relying just on the um, plug welds which I'll do later on those um, returns I've done stitches this bit I had to do some dressing from the inside to push that panel out to meet this wing and then I smashed it again to get it to align here and then I've welded all the way along there uh, really it's just gonna be more of the same so I won't bother recording it on my dodgy iPhone with its unique stand um, got that clamped up there that's looking like it's going to fit really nicely so I probably won't seam weld it I'll probably just plug weld it and then seam seamer later that will go down onto there that will be welded and then <clears throat> much later on I will come back and do the plug welds through these so that it looks nice and original and I'll put a stitch between here and here so it's all tied in together nicely but um yeah good progress the alignment's looking really nice now and shouldn't need much filler if any at all you don't really want filler in there because this will flex and twist and it'll just crack out so it really should be um flexible seams here made really good progress everything is done from there all the way along back up to there i now need to dress all of these bits and get them sitting flush and nice so I'm gonna hammer and dolly from the underneath bish bash bosh get it all up there scribe through as I did previously and then finish the welding and while I'm doing these bits I'll lean in and I can plug weld those bits that I was banging on about earlier the wire came through I'll explain what's gone on down there in a minute basically well I'll do it now basically all of this needs to be chopped off there's a big frilly hole here and every time I weld you can just tell that it's not good metal so when I rebuild this area I'll also do that bit as well I mean it's one of those where I can try welding and if it welds okay I can fill these in and it'll be all right but I don't know, I'll sort of address that later. I'm just concentrating on this bit and I'll worry about that later. We're nearly there, done the tops. This side, really neat. I still need to get a grinder, cut a slot through there, clamp the weather channel together. This side was already aligned, so I've snotted some weld on, um, cleaned out all the old sealer or braze or whatever it was in there. <clears throat> That's all done. Now I just need to weld the plug welds kind of don't even need to bother because I've put stitches down the outside but I will man alive that has taken a long time it is clouding over which is not good it was meant to be dry today and I thought I would get all of this done and I think I have um, but I'm just gonna put some red oxide on this bonder primer that's all ground down as is my finger all down here hammered closed tidied up all of these welds um, all the way down here all of the plug welds along the bottom just nipped the heads off and the same up this side and then inside I haven't bothered sanding the tips of these plug welds I've just left them as they are they'll all be covered in seam sealer anyway but now I'm gonna go find my bonder primer and paint it in a hurry and there we have it just in time it started raining oh painted nipped back and 
treated. I haven't done the underside yet, but I can't be bothered to lie on the ground in the rain, but I'm gonna sign off there and that's quite a good place to leave it.